Hello. Hello, my YouTube friends. My name is Nimsen Ladab. I'm a hepatologist working in the United Kingdom with a passion to support patients living with hepatitis B. Ghana with some information regarding the fact that Ghanaian scientists have found a cheap cure for hepatitis B. Is this statement correct? Is there some truth in it? Are they really scientists? Are their facts correct? Now this is why I am here to produce some information that will guide our people so they do not fall into some uncertainties. But before you make up your mind about whether or not what is being published right from December 2021 from Ghana is true, I will want you to look at the evidence that they have said and you judge for yourself whether they are saying the truth or not. I personally have a lot of reservations about that. As a liver specialist, such information would have been very big news and would be carried through the World Health Organization. Also, it would be information on uh, the big media. Unfortunately, this has not been the case. Well, I will guide you and show you the evidence and the reason why they thought they had found a cure and you will be left with a decision whether they are saying the truth or not. I will give you my idea and thoughts at the end. Well, follow on and listen and be wise. Look at what they said. The uh, data that seems to have come out from Ghana uh, suggesting that crept Tolepine, which is the active ingredient, uh, was published in this journal in September 2021, uh, Scientific African, and suggested that the active ingredient, cryptolipine, uh, decreased the viral load of hepatitis from uh, that amount to this amount within a six months period, and yet they claimed a cure for hepatitis B. They also claim that the treatment of hepatitis B uh, is normally six months using, using tenofovir, which is not correct. We do know that at the moment, tenofovir use is for a lifetime uh, in most instances. Uh, and the efficacy of tenofovir is definitely much more than what is demonstrated in this data. Uh, time will fail me to take you to the video publication that came out from the Ghanaian scientists with the hope and a slight deceit that it's curative. Obviously, it is not a cheaper cure. If anything, it's actually confusing the real treatment of hepatitis B that is currently available and has been advocated by the World Health Organization. Uh, I think the judgment is clear it would not be wise to fall for this cheap trap and accept an imperial mechanism of treatment for hepatitis B and claim it is a cure. Let me show you. Uh, if you go, if you just Google Ghanaian uh, scientists find cure for hepatitis, you see that there are quite a number of videos coming up there and you see them here. And you see it comes up. It's been viewed quite a number of times. I will fast track it so you can see that. It's been viral infection. Um, there are array of drugs uh, approved for treatment and management. There are seven of them. So he agreed that there are treatments available. Um, in this country, currently, the... And so on. Well, the judgment remains yours. Listen to my conclusions. 
your judgment is as good as mine. Don't fall for any deceit. The efficacy of Tanofave remains very high, much better and quicker than what is demonstrated by that unconfirmed science, uh, so-called scientists report from Ghana. It, I'm not saying this because it's coming from Ghana, a developing country. I am saying that based on the evidence before us and science, uh, it is premature to imagine that this medication, which has not been extensively studied, is curative. At best, it is doing something, but we do not know what it's doing long term. And uh, within a short interval, a very limited amount of recruited patients, uh, it's unwise to abandon a very effective treatment to uh, believe that this herb is curative it is not curative it has not been demonstrated to be curative it is just a media hype intended to cheat you and perhaps lead many people on the wrong road keep up to date with me and with many of those who are performing and working in very active science to produce information that will high guide and safeguard your livers Thank you very much and see you next. Bye-bye.